Let's find the exact value of a tangent using the difference formula. All right, here we have the sine of alpha is equal to 4 fifths, and alpha is in quadrant 2. And we also have that the cosine of beta is 5 thirteenths, but beta lies in quadrant 1. We want to find the exact value of the tangent of alpha minus beta, given this information. All right, here's our formula for the tangent of alpha minus beta. That's equal to tangent of alpha minus the tangent of beta all over 1 plus the tangent of alpha times the tangent of beta. Now, for our two particular angles, we have to set up two individual triangles, and from these we can find our exact value. So let's start with the alpha triangle. We need the tangent of alpha, which is opposite over adjacent, and in the numerator here we'll have a negative 4 thirds. Minus then the tangent of beta, we need to go to the second triangle. Tangent here is, again, opposite over adjacent, which is 12 fifths. This will then be all over 1 plus the same tangent of alpha, and you can kind of steal that out of the top there, minus 4 thirds times the tangent of beta, which is a positive 12 fifths. Okay? Now we've got to simplify. The best way to do that is to multiply top and bottom of this mess by the LCD, which in this case is 15. Good hint is to write that as 15 over 1. And when we do this, it takes some doing, but we can do it. 15 times 4 thirds will give us a negative 20, minus 15 times our 12 fifths, rather, will give us a negative 36. All over in the denominator here, don't forget about that 1, we've got to take our 15 times that, minus here 48. In this case, the 15 will cancel out with those denominators. When we simplify this, we end up with a negative 56 on the top, all over a negative 33 on the bottom, and if possible, reduce this. No such luck here, but we'll want to write that as a positive 56 33rds, and this completes our problem.